Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to poche in Revit. Poche is basically when you take a section cut through a wall, a roof, a ceiling, um, it turns it black. Um, a lot of people are against pocheing, a lot of people swear by pocheing. Uh, personally, as a student of architecture, I often pin up my presentation drawings and uh, I find that pocheing my drawings make them look a lot more clean and a lot more legible from a distance. Uh, so, personally, I like to do it. Uh, I'm going to start right from scratch here so that there's no confusion for you guys. It's pretty easy. Uh, let's start with a basic box. Um, hit WA on your keyboard. That's the wall shortcut. Uh, we'll call it a 50-foot building by uh, 30 feet. Square that off. Give it a quick look at the 3D camera. All right. So, all you've got is a box. So now we're going to put on a roof, a roof, roof by footprint, hit yes, go up here to the rectangle box, or rectangle icon, sorry, and then drag it over here. Uh, we'll make it easy, we'll just do a gable, gable roof, so select this wall and this wall, take off the slope, hit the green check mark at the top say yes and we should have a roof yes we do okay so this is our building plain simple I'm a big fan of keeping it simple uh, especially for these tutorials um, in level one we're gonna add a floor uh, just to really show you guys the effects of poche um, so we're gonna go to floor floor architectural again the rectangle icon select from one corner to the other hit OK and now we have a building with a floor in it okay so now section cuts you can go up here and hit section but if you see you'll notice the SE right next to the section I'm a huge fan of uh, keyboard shortcuts so I'm just gonna hit SE this will be our section cut so double click on the section that's what your section cut looks like You've got your floor, your walls, and then your roof. Now, this is a example of a non poche section cut. Now, what you want to do to be able to poche it, you have to go and change the visibility slash graphics. You can just go over here, and it's right there, visibility, graphics, overrides. You can hit edit, and bam, there you can change it. Or, keyboard shortcut, VG. Same thing. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and we're going to look for walls. There it is. So then you have under cut, which is a section cut, you have lines that you can change, and you have, oh, sorry, scroll back down here. You have lines that you could change, and you have patterns that you can change. We're going to be changing the patterns. So click inside that box, click override. Click that so you can change the color. We're going to go to black. That's pretty standard for pocheing. And then in the pattern, we're going to go to a solid fill. Hit OK. Hit Apply. There it is. Your walls are now pocheed. Now you're going to uh, repeat this method for the other elements that you're trying to poche. For example, roofs. There it is. Override. Go to black. Hit OK. Hit solid fill. Hit OK. Apply. Now your roof is black. And now, last one, we're going to be doing the floors. Floors, override, change to black. Hit OK. Change that to a solid fill. Hit OK. Hit OK. There you go. That is our building, our section cut, post shade. Ultimately, you're looking at it on your screen it probably won't make a big difference. But once you have a bigger project with multiple roof lines, multiple floors, pushing can really draw your eye to uh, the structure of a design. Um, not per se of columns and beams and trusses, but how a floor meets a ceiling, how a floor can get up to a roof, etc. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, just leave it in the area below. I'd be happy to answer anything. Uh, email me if you must. It's not a problem. Thank you.